Hello, good day, my audience. Once again, I want to welcome you to this prestigious channel. Today, we shall be looking at the elbow joints or cubital joint. Elbow joint is also called the cubital joint. This is actually a composite joint because it is formed between, you know, three different bones. This is the humerus. This is the radius. And then this is the ulna, okay? So the joint formed at this point is what we call the cubital joint, okay? So we shall be looking at the component of this joint. Okay, so as usual, we shall begin our discussion or we shall have a discussion under the following headings the bones that make up these joints, the joint type, okay, the joint cavity, the joint capsule, and then the ligaments associated with this joint, okay. Um, so we shall start with the bones. Like I said earlier on, the bones that form this joint include the humerus, okay. This is the, the, the humerus. Okay, and then the radius, and then the ulna. This is the ulna bone. Okay, this is the humerus, and this is the, the radius. Now, the joint type, this joint is actually a composite joint. Okay, it's a composite joint formed by the humeral condyle. Okay, this is the humeral condyle. Okay, with the head of the radius. Okay, this, so this is, is formed by the humeral condyle, the head of the radius. Okay, and then the semilunar notch of the ulna. Okay, this is the semilunar notch of the ulna. This is the anconeal process of the ulna. This is the 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 condyle. Okay, the condyle of the humerus. Okay, and then the head of the radius. Now, there are three joints formed at this point. That's why we said it's a composite joint. The first one is the humeral ulna joint. Okay, the humeral ulna joint is a joint formed by the humeral trochlea. Okay, the humeral trochlea and the trochlear notch of ulna okay this is the humeral trochlea and then the trochlear notch of ulna okay that is the joint the humeral ulna joint that's a joint formed between the humerus and the ulna it is formed between the humeral trochlea all right and the trochlear notch of the ulna the second one is the humeral radial joint Okay, the humeral radial joint is formed between the humeral capitulum and the radial head. Okay, the humeral capitulum and the radial head. These joints, that is the humeral radial joint, actually transits or transmits most of the weight of the animal. It, it, it bears most of the weight of the animal. The third joint we shall be looking at is the proximal humeral radial joint. The, sorry, proximal radio ulna joint. The proximal radio ulna joint. This is actually a joint between the articular surface of the radius. Okay, the articular surface of the radius. The articular surface of the radius and the radial notch of the ulna. So the joint formed at this point. Okay, this is the point. Again, it is a joint be the point between the articular surface of the radius, okay, this point here, and the radial notch of the ulna. So it is formed between the radius and the ulna. The joint cavity is actually single, you know. This the, the, the cavity around these three bones is a single cavity, okay. The elbow cavity serves 
the three different joints so this single cavity okay is called the elbow uh, cavity and it serves the three different joints that is the humero humero ulna joint okay the humero radial joint okay and then the proximal radial ulna joint so the joint capsule the joint capsule here has you know it is common to the three articular parts okay the capsule which are formed here by this ligament is common okay to the three articular parts this is uh, the three articular parts that has been mentioned earlier on so let's look at the ligaments okay the ligaments that you know surround this joint or that are associated with the elbow joint the first one we shall look at is a lateral collateral ligament also known as the ulnar collateral ligament okay this is the lateral or the ulnar collateral ligament all right this very one here it, it attaches proximally to the lateral epicondy of the humerus okay it attaches proximally to the lateral epicondy the lateral epicondy of the humerus is actually on the lateral side of the humerus Okay, connecting it to the ulna bone. The second one is a medial or radial collateral ligament. This is on the, this is on the medial side of uh, this joint. It lies on the medial side of this joint. It is called the medial or the radial collateral. Okay, so like I said again, this is uh, the medial or radial collateral ligament. Okay. So the next ligament we shall be looking at is the oblique ligament. Okay, this is the oblique ligament. The oblique ligament. This ligament, uh, this ligament actually attaches to the dorsal edge of the supratrochlear foramen of the humerus. It attaches to the dorsal edge, okay, of the supratrochlear foramen. Of the humerus okay that is the oblique ligament all right and it connects that to the to the radius okay that is it so the next one we shall see is the annular ligament of the radius the annular ligament of the radius okay the annular ligament of the radius it is a thin band which runs transversely around the radius okay it's a thin band and it runs transversely okay it just runs transversely around the radius it attaches to the lateral and medial extremities of the radial incision of the ulna okay I take it again it attaches to the lateral to the lateral and the medial extremities okay the lateral and then on the medial side again okay extremities of the radial incision of the ulna then the last one we shall look at is the lacrimal ligament this uh, ligament actually connects the connects the lacrimal process of the of the ulna bone so these ligaments actually form the joint capsule Okay, they are associated with the joint capsule of the elbow or cubital joint. So once again, the ligaments include the lateral or ulnar collateral ligament, okay, the medial or radial collateral ligament, the oblique ligament, the annular ligament of the radius, and then the fifth one is the olecranon ligament. Thank you for watching. Once again, as usual, I will advise you to subscribe to this channel, Dr. Fred Academy, and do well to click on the notification bell icon to be notified whenever we have our videos online. Thank you for listening.